It's being called the most ambitious plan to eliminate planet warming emissions from cars. The White House today announcing a series of rules that they say will avoid over 7 billion tons of emissions over the next 30 years. ABC's Zareen Shah breaks down the president's new plan. A major move just announced from the Environmental Protection Agency requiring the car industry to reduce pollution across their entire fleet in an attempt to push the car industry to make more electric vehicles. Today marks a historic win for public health, for the environment, and for the future of our country. One mile at a time, we're cleaning our air, we're protecting public health, and we're creating good paying American jobs. The EPA announcing that vehicle emissions standards for cars built starting 2027 up until 2032 will reduce U.S. emissions by over 7 billion metric tons for over 30 years. It's all an effort, they say, to reduce deaths, health care costs, and over 60 billion in costs for fuel, maintenance, and repairs by reducing tiny particulates and other pollution from burning gasoline, in addition to reducing plant warming emissions. That means less heart disease. That means longer lives. Clean cars is really all about saving kids. Clean cars will help save our kids. The Biden administration tapping the brakes a little to give manufacturers more wiggle room. We gave the automobile industry more flexibility to achieve those environmental goals. Sales of electric vehicles have slowed, so automakers didn't think they needed to reach stricter standards set a year ago. Giving the automobile industry more flexibility to choose different combinations to achieve our environmental goals actually gives their customers more choice. The White House says that car manufacturers will have many options to get to the emission limits it is requiring, and that includes a combination of battery electric vehicles, plug-in hybrids, and super-efficient gas-powered engines. Zorin Shah, ABC News, Los Angeles.